Hello everybody, Budlinek here, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft mods. We have five very cool mods to go over today, let's get to them. The Big Beacons mod increases the max beacon level from 4 to 10. The new status effects that you can get from the beacons are fire resistance at level 6, reduced hunger usage at level 7, absorption at level 8, luck at level 9, which has been reworked in the mod to act as additional levels in fortune and looting, and a level 10 beacon allows you to upgrade most effects to level 3. And if you're wondering like I was, yes, you can make a beacon that gives all 10 effects. It's going to cost you, though. It takes 3,007 blocks now to get every effect, but this thing is extremely powerful. This mod also gets rid of the activation cost of beacons because they needed the GUI space. And honestly, what difference does one iron or gold ingot make anyway? Every level of the beacon also increases its range. The gray area here is the range of a max beacon in vanilla and the cyan is the range of a level 10 beacon with this mod. I'd like to see somebody try to pull off a full netherite beacon with this mod. The Globats mod adds Globats to Minecraft, which are a new bat variety that can be found in caves throughout your world. These look fantastic, and they're going to fit in nicely with the Glow Squid once we get 1.17. They drop Glow Bat Wings when killed, which can be eaten for 30 seconds of night vision, or you can craft it into Glow Paste and make Glow Torches and Glow Lanterns. The Untitled Duck mod adds some very high quality ducks to your Minecraft worlds. The developers have included some extra animations like dunking their heads underwater for food and grooming themselves to add a little more life to them. The models, textures, and animations all look great. These aren't just for looks though, you can breed ducks with seeds, they have eggs that behave like chicken eggs, they introduce a new type of meat, and you can make arrows from their feathers. Health Blast is a very simple mod that adds an interesting new mechanic to creepers. It scales the size of their explosion based on their current health. A vanilla creeper's max HP is 20, so this equals a regular sized explosion. Anything below that reduces the explosion's power, and anything above that increases the explosion's power. I would hate to have to fill in this size of creeper hole all the time. Packed Cobblestone aims to help with the construction of redstone contraptions. Currently, if you want an immovable block, you either need to use a tile entity like a furnace, or you can use obsidian, which may not have the look that you're going for, and it's a pain to gather and mine, it's just a pain to work with sometimes. Packed cobblestone gives a nice looking, lag friendly, and easy to mine alternative if you need an immovable block. And that is all the time we have for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I need to give an extra big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their names are up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We'll see you guys next time.